I don't have them on the top of my head. There, there's, a, there's, a couple of, there's a couple of places in the Old Testament, and there's one place in the New Testament. And there's lots of other scriptures that talk about units and talk about inclusivity and talk about nothing that was ever unclean or that was deemed unclean is now unclean. So there's, there's different narratives, basically. And the, 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 the bits in the Bible that talk explicitly about gay sex tend to be looking at the dominance of one person over another. So an older man with a younger boy, that sort of thing. So it's complicated. <laughs> so interestingly, a couple of weeks ago, I met with my rabbi in preparation today because I don't have all the biblical texts in my head. Um, and what they wanted me to know when I met with them uh, was I guess the quote that's always used around being made in, in God's image is, is in man's image. And so he turned around to me and said, well, you know, we don't know whether God was gender queer, so it could have been a gender queer God's image. <laughs> um, it could have been a trans image, it could have been a gay image. And I guess I'm quite fortunate in that my family was more modern orthodox, so they were more holistic about it. Um, and they said more that, I guess, uh, they felt that queerness brought creativity to the Jewish community, and that's what, what they installed in us as well. In the last few years, um, for me, looking at the story of Lut, which is what everybody references in Islam, um, there is a book now called Homosexuality in Islam, by Scott Krugel. Um, to, to a lot of young people coming through, it was like an eye-opener because he tries to reconcile that the words are misinterpreted. But for me, because I'd read the Bible all them years ago, I just thought, tell me something new. Because I had to learn for myself um, that the Quran is about the relationship that you have with Allah and nobody else. And it's for you to follow your own path. You know, as long as you are good in heart and mind, that's all that matters, you know, and you'll be rewarded in your own ways, because I believe in pay it forward. So for me, having the Quran and the Bible and understanding where it comes from is a beautiful thing. And I know a lot of people who are non-Muslim would say it's very violent and misogynistic and all the rest of it. But I have to take with it what I can, because if I listen to it all, I'll just drown in the sorrow. Whereas for me, I turn it into a celebration that life is here to, to give and forgive other people. And if we're talking about community, it is about unity and celebrating differences as well as similarities. And like me and my partner, we are so different, and yet we've come together for 27 years. <laughs>